So, Sophia, thank you so much for coming up here. Uh, can you just tell us where you are from and why are you here at Hungry Gen? Um, so I'm from Vancouver, Washington. I'm 17 years old and I'm here for an internship. It's my second time here. <laughs> Come on. So can you start off with telling us how did you hear about Hungry Gen and how did you get here? Um, so actually, uh, I was born and raised in a Christian home, but when you're born and raised Christian, you kind of become numb to Christianity, and God doesn't really touch you because you're so used to it all the time. And when I was around 15 years old, I, I got into a very toxic relationship, and I was so attached and so afraid to lose this person that I started seeking out other, um, other spiritual mediums that would help me look into the future and help me keep this person in my life and help just keep me in check and um so I got into astrology and I got into white witch magic and um I would I would practice that and it, it got really bad to the point where every night I would wake up at 3 a.m and I would see demons I would I would hear them I would everywhere I go they would torment me and um yeah, it was really tough. And um, my parents were praying for me this entire time. They kept believing and they kept praying. And um, one time I remember my mom was like, hey, we're going to Seattle. And without my consent, they brought me to race to deliver here. <laughs> and that was a shocker for me. And um, uh, that day, the first day, I remember I I saw deliverances for the first time and I was in so much shock because I, I didn't know that Christian people could have demons. I didn't know that demons could live inside of us because I was, I was raised my entire life believing that, oh, Christian people, they're, they're so holy, they're, they can't be attacked, you know, life is so perfect. And I saw that and I, I didn't sleep the whole night after that. I was in complete shock. I, I was just amazed. And the second day, I was um, God began to work on my heart, and I was just opening up to Him, and I was like, okay, <laughs> yeah. And um, on the third day, I gave my life to Jesus. Amen. Come on, Hallelujah. Our God is so good. Now, there's so much more to your testimony, but I want us just to touch on this, is that you were looking for answers to the healing of your broken heart from that toxic relationship. You went to astrology, you went to white witchcraft, you went to all of the new age things, trying to get that fulfillment, and then you received Jesus Christ. Can you please tell us who truly was the person that brought the solution to you? Jesus is so good. I kept looking at astrology. I thought that would heal my brokenness. I kept looking for other spiritual experiences that would heal my heart and help me out. And then when I experienced the Holy Spirit, that completely healed my heart and I felt so full. And for the first time in my life, I truly felt happiness. I truly felt, I felt the love of God, which I never even knew existed. Amen, hallelujah. Now, I know that you're on a journey uh, with Jesus Christ, and we will show a couple of pictures of her baptism that just took place. Uh, what was it, last week? Yes, yes that was last week that she uh, got baptized. Come on. And she's here for a second time around uh, with the internship. And tell us a little bit of why did you come back? Because you came to the internship. Was it with your parents forcing you to come to the internship, or was it on your own? I signed up on my own for internship, and the summer internship was more of a, a healing process for me, healing for my relationship, and I, I wasn't able to focus so much on God as um, more he was focusing on me. And this internship, I can focus on him, and I can fully immerse myself into the Holy Spirit and with my walk with God. Amen. Come on. You know, you mentioned that when you were diving into the, the darkness of different uh, false religions, you were saying that you received torment over the night and you were seeing demons. When you received Jesus Christ in your heart, is that still happening today? No. After the conference, it was completely gone. I, I never heard them again. I never saw them again. I could sleep finally. I didn't have to wake up anymore. Amen. Come on. That is truly our God. Now, uh, Sophia, I wanted to ask you, for those that are here watching on live stream, or those that are here at our service, many people are looking for a solution to their broken heart or issues that they're going through. What would be your word of encouragement for those that are seeking answers? Um, Jesus is the only answer. Astronomy, astrology is not the answer. Other spiritual experiences are not gonna heal your broken heart. Only Jesus is the way. Amen, good enough for us, come on. Thank you so much, Sophia.